Hi, my name is Kyle Sherline, a technician at National RV. I'm giving you your quick little walkthrough for your camper. Alright, so this is our Airstream camper. And uh, the first thing I want to talk about in the camper is going to be our battery disconnect switch. So whenever you're storing the camper or not using it for an extended period of time, longer than a week or two, would definitely just turn this to the off position. It's best just to always turn this off when you're not in the camper or using anything inside of it, like keeping the fridge warm, or I'm sorry, cold. Just uh, It's just best to keep this in the off position if you're not in or using the camper for anything. Because that's just going to make your battery life last a lot longer. Just below it is our RV propane and gas alarm. You should always test this device when you get in your camper or get ready to go camping. It's just going to make an annoying little beep, letting you know that it is operational, then that speaker is working. And then you just have to hold the button to reset it to normal. This is our converter and fuse box, okay? This is where we are going to have all of our 110 and 12 volt protection systems stored. So right here is our 110 side. These are our main breakers. Okay, so our, we have a main 30 amp breaker because we are on a 30 amp cord. Okay, these are not like normal house breakers. I wouldn't just turn them off and on with your leisure. Don't turn them off unless they trip themselves, okay? That way you can prolong the life of these breakers. These fuses over here, are all 15s, or 20s, and 40s. And you do have a 1 amp fuse as well. So you have four different style fuses that you're going to have to store in the camper or keep extra of. Now if you ever have an issue with a fuse, it's going to indicate right there. So I pulled that fuse out and it's telling me that that circuit is not complete now. Okay? So that would be your quick indicator behind this little shield telling you that that fuse is bad. this guy back in here just like that okay right but above it is our uh, Nova cool refrigerator right above it is the the freezer cavity which is a small little opening there you can store a few things in so adjust temperature on the refrigerator that's going to be this knob here if you turn it all the way to the zero position it's going to be fridge off Okay, just above this is going to be our antenna booster, okay? So when you want to get uh, your antenna to work, get like 13 basic channels anywhere, you're going to make sure that this little green light is turned on, okay? Now if you are inputting a satellite connection on the outside of the trailer, this is a two-way switch, you want to make sure that this is turned off. And now you can have your input from the outside of the camper flowing into the TV. All right. Coming over here is our solar controller from Victron Energy. Really simple unit to live with, really. You're just gonna let this thing do what it wants to do, all right? So when it gets sunlight, it's gonna be sending a certain amount of power to the batteries to recharge. And you can go through this menu to see what uh, our current stuff is looking at. So we got zero watts because we're not outside, not receiving solar energy. Got 12.2 volts on the battery currently. Zero on kilowatts. Battery system is off because we are not accepting solar. The amperage, voltage. So this 13.2 is going to be your cap voltage. So when the system reaches 13.2, it will stop charging the battery so you don't overcharge your system. Okay. And that's pretty much how that one works, okay? And now to the right of it is our C level 2 tank monitor. All right, now this is a really simple system to live with. It's going to tell you your battery voltage. So our current battery voltage is 13 volts. Fresh tank is sitting at 81%. Gray is zero. Black is zero. Okay. This is a percentage style tank, so it's going to give you one to 100. Okay. This little switch right here is to turn the water pump on. When you activate this switch, you're going to have pressure coming from the fresh tank to pressurize the system. 
so that you can use your sinks and or toilet. Right back here, this is one of our, uh, our turnstile windows. Just gotta turn this knob clockwise to open and counter to close. Super simple. These shades are just like the ones you probably have in your house at home. You're just gonna go a little bit to the left to drop. And then you want, if you want them to come back up, you just pull it straight and it will lock. Okay. And they do have these little plastic tabs that will go into the end of this when it's fully extended down so it doesn't slap when you're going down the road if you wanted this down. Okay, so in we go in the bathroom now. So not a whole lot to talk about in here. Pretty straightforward and simple. How to operate the toilet is going to be this valve behind. Alright. And you're just going to pull that towards you. A little bit to fill the water in the bowl. And then you will do a full push to flush. Okay. In here... On this system is our water heater system, okay? So we have it activated as on. So this system is on demand, so when we ask for hot water to come out of this faucet, it's going to activate the flow sensor within the water heater, which will in turn turn it on, okay? So it needs flow of pressure for this to turn on. Right now it's currently set at 124 and you can adjust that up and down with this system and or the uh, uh, fresh cold water mix valve on the actual water heater. There's our medicine cabinet, pretty simple on how to use that. Shower, it's just like uh, your one at home probably, you're just going to turn it until you get to your desired temperature range. All right. This is our egress window so you're just gonna pull these two tabs in and you will push out on this window and then you can escape out that window. Our radio is up here. It's just like uh, the car radio that you probably had in your car if you ever had a uh, car that had a cheaper radio in it. So our backup camera that we'll set up for you once you get here. So two overhead cabinets above the bed. This is our cabinet for storing the clothes. And some more cabinets. The one last thing I want to talk about before we end it here is this fan vent okay so this is gonna be a manual style crank up so you just crank this right and then the fan will come on once you ask for it to go here and then there's a veritable speed sensor here so you can go to different speeds and stuff and then if you have it running and you want to go ahead and close it it's gonna automatically turn off the fan okay but we should always return it back to zero Alrighty. Thank you for choosing National RV to purchase your Airstream, guys. I hope you really enjoy it. Thank you.